Really? Well, Ziggy, first of all, this year's senior season, you having fun? Yeah, this has been great. We were, uh, Brett and I were talking out in the lobby about really how this uh, your season has really uh, improved was the fact when Ethan got injured at Boise State and you came in and now you've pretty much been been an every down kind of a guy. Is that is that how it's happened? Do you think? Uh, yeah, um, it's, it's been hard to lose on Ethan. Um, he's one of the guys that I really looked up to. And um, man, when when he went out, I was like, hey man, I guess I, I got to step up. So I just put in the extra extra work, watch him on film, and uh, it's, it's been good so far. When you came into your senior season, did you ever think that you'd be given this much time and that you would have such an outstanding year? Um, it's a great question. I was, I mean, I was thinking that I'll come in as a backup. You know, we already had a, a first first three up front. Um, come come. Uh, so back up and just try to help the team. What do you think has been the key to your improvement? I mean, you, every announcer that does your games just raves about your your play. What would you credit to your great improvement this year, other than playing playing more? Um, I'll give credit to my 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 teammates. You know, they they keep talking to me. My coaches keep talking to me. Um, they just tell me to you know. Just, just take all my assignments, and um, everybody else will take off it, his his assignment. Just, just trusting each, each other to do what they're supposed to do. How how much of it is just working harder, maybe physically and practice and 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 that kind of a thing? Is that is that a big key as well? Yeah, it is. Um, during practice, you know, taking reps, kind of trying to know which which formation and uh, what what they run out of, or which in the passing situations, um, watching film has been really helpful. When you left Ghana, what was your dream of coming to BYU? What sport was really your dream to play back then? Basketball. It was basketball. Yeah. And you tried out twice. Uh -huh. Did you ever get, did, I mean, did you get to the stage where they cut you? I mean, how does that work? Um, or they nicely say, you know what, <laughs> come back next year. It's sad, it's not nice. No, it's not nice. Uh -uh. How does it work? Um, okay, so I think the first time there was over 30 people, and now uh, they take like the the top 10, I think, and then they choose wherever they want from it. And um, both times I made it to the top 10, and that was it. That was I never it. made it to, you know, the final cut, so. So did Dave Rose talk to you, or how does that work? Did you see your name on a list, or how does it work? I mean, you, they just send an email telling you that, hey, you did great, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, there's always a bad, which is like, okay, great. That's kind of cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you have been a power forward or a center? I would have been a power forward. Power forward, yeah. okay, so that was your dream. Yeah. Who's your favorite basketball player? LeBron James. I was going <laughs> to guess that. I was going to guess that. What, what was that like for you to watch them win the finals last year? Oh, I, I, I was going crazy. You should have seen me. It was, it was great. I just love him. Um, he's dominant. He, he takes it to the hoop whenever he wants. And, uh, yeah. What do you take from him when you watch him as a great professional athlete that helps you in football? Um, he, he, he doesn't give up, you know, he's, he's really strong, um, he's, um, he, he has his uh, leadership role that he, he uh, exhibits on the field, you know, he talks to his teammates, and um, he, he's just unstoppable. And uh, one thing he said in one of his interviews is that he always wanted to play like, a, like an MVP. And uh, man, it's, it's great when you, you have that in mind, you know, you're playing like you are the best. Do you take that with you into every game you play? Yeah. You want to be the MVP? Uh -huh. Now you think ahead after this, uh, Ziggy, are you picturing yourself, okay, basketball's done, are you picturing yourself in the NFL? Yeah. What are you picturing? Um, for now, I'm just, you know, picturing me in my last few games with my teammates here in college, you know, just dominating and trying to win the rest of the games that we have. And then the NFL is going to take care of itself from there. Are you hearing a lot from the yeah, NFL? I, I mean, is it, it just nonstop? Yeah, it's, it's hard, but you know, I just, I just try to focus on what is at hand right now. There's a quote here that <coughs> says that you are the buzz of the NFL for the upcoming draft. What do you think when you hear that? Um, this is my first time hearing this, and uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's fun, you know, when everybody's talking about you, but again, you know, it's like overwhelming. Like, I just want to, you know, let all that, you know, hear it through this ear, let it go through the other one, and just, just concentrate. Right now, my focus is seriously just, you know, helping my brothers here. 
Now, to be a physical dominating kind of a defense player, you have to be aggressive, you have to be kind of mean. Are you, are you that way off the field? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I don't think you are. Are you? <laughs> um, I'm a pretty chill guy off the field. Um, I just, I just try to have fun. I can't, I can't be mean off the field, you know. I just try to be happy with my friends and just have fun. Now, I think it was Braden Hanson that called you the beast. Does that sound right? Is that how you picture yourself? <laughs> That is what he thinks. So, <laughs> that's a good that's a good compliment though for a defensive player. Oh, yes. I'll, I'll, I'm a, yeah. I'll, I'll take the credit. <laughs> so, what do you think your friends back in Ghana would think of you making it into the NFL? <laughs> I think they'll be impressed. Um, I have quite a few people, you know, just like texting me on Facebook, you know, telling me how impressed they are with me and um, all the hard work that I I, I put in, you know. Um, and uh, it's, it's really humbling because, you know, I'm trying to be an example to the little kids and um, I, I got to start from somewhere, so it's been good. Do you feel your life has been kind of put that way for a reason? Okay, basketball didn't work out, so maybe the Lord put you into football. Do you think, do you think that way that that's where you're supposed to be? <laughs> you know, it's funny because um, one of the basketball coaches like saw me in the training room um, and he was like, you should be grateful that we cut you off the basketball team. <laughs> I was like, yeah, thank you very much. So yeah, I guess, you know, everything happens for a reason. And um, this is this is where is it now. So I just got to take it over from here. And you're having fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, Ziggy, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you for your much. time. I know you're very busy. So